Okay guys, for all you avid dove hunters that want to do more with your dove breast meat instead of just uh, bacon wrap it and jalapeno cream cheese. Now don't get me wrong, that's awesome and great. What I do here is I got a meat pounder. I pound them all out. Simple, skin rest and flat. Don't flat them too much because they are, I split the breasts of course. These are all single breasts. They're split. So each one's a you know, half breast or whatever you want to call it. Pound them all out. And then I season them. What I'm using here today, it's here in uh, it's Texas here. It's called Two Gringos. I can't pronounce it. Cabra Truba. Cabra Truba. I can't rub. Chupa Cabra. Chupa Cabra. Chupa Cabra. Yeah, I know y'all can pronounce better than I can. So they see the picture of it. I just sprinkle all over it. Both sides. Nice little coat. One side there. Flip it over. See what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to season these things. Let them uh, marinate in the season. You know, two hours. Overnight if you want to, even better. It's up to you guys. And I season both sides. This is not a hot seasoning. It's just a good flavor. Really good flavor. Okay, so I'll do that and so continue to season it. Good coat on them, you know. Now you don't have to use this, use whatever season all you like, whatever flavor you like. Because what I'm gonna do is I did this at the lake last month. I uh you know how you make chicken fried steak? I did the same thing with these dove. I just chicken fried them. Uh whatever batter you use, I'll show you later on here. I'm gonna continue on later on after I season these things. And I'll put in the notes what I use, what batter I use, but Whatever you like to chicken fry your steak or chicken fry your dove this time, it's awesome. Okay, I got the dove meat in a gallon size Ziploc baggie. I'm gonna go stick in the fridge for a couple hours and uh, we'll continue from there. All right guys, okay, here we go. I've had a dove meat marinating now for a little more than two hours. And now I'm gonna do a little, uh, some buttermilk. I got some flour. When I mix my flour, I use uh, one cup of flour and one cup of uh, Louisiana fish fry and two tablespoons of uh, baking powder. That's what I put in my flour mixture. Yeah, it's easier to season that way. That's what I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double. Got a little bit of them. Wet. Dry. Wet. Now you shake all the excess off. I sit over here, let it set up for a little bit. I'll do another one. Yeah, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me do all these. I'm just gonna show y'all what I do. And I will post all my uh, all the ingredients on there. I mean, it's, it's just but these dove, see the baking powder, man. It's like, Make sure my camera's centered. There's another one. I already got my grease set up. I use a deep fryer. Now we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's get another one. Okay. It's called double dipping. In my man, my way, I like to do it. So normally I would just wouldn't have a cord, and I'd have uh, one hand wet, one hand wet, one hand dry. So that's why I'm just gonna stop doing this here real quick and finish up. I don't make a mess on my other hand. Y'all get the meaning of it, right? How to do it? It's pretty simple. All right, I'll get back to you guys. Okay. I got all my dove meat breaded. We're we'll getting ready to dump them in a deep fryer. Now, my deep fryer, there you go, guy. I'm gonna do it for like two to three minutes. 
just to get a nice golden brown. Here we go. Okay. And of course, the deep fryer is set at uh, 350. Put about three or four in here. Don't want to crowd it. All right, there we go. Got four in there deep frying. Do, uh, two to three minutes. Uh, pretty good, right? Yeah, I don't know if you hear that noise in the background. We're in Texas. Locusts are uh, crazy, you know. They, uh, they're everywhere. It's a pretty simple video, guys, and it's so great about the dove meat. It's awesome. I just love it. It's uh, set them over here. There's a guy hiding down here in the bottom on me. There we go. I mean, it's just so awesome. I mean, dove meat, you know, it's, it's kind of dry, so if you eat, just eat it with a uh, bacon, you know, bacon, bacon wrap with cream cheese, it's good, but it's just so dry when you chicken fry it. Just adds so much flavor. It's just awesome. Okay, so right now we're at about a minute. And if you look at it, it's um, almost done, guys. Look at that. Not bad at all. So it looks like I was going to do two minutes. It's almost at a minute and a half. This is my neighbor's dog. Hmm. 30 more seconds will be at two minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. But if you look at it, what do you all think? Give you a new idea. I'll post all my ingredients on the, on the, in my comments below. And... Uh, that's about it guys hey uh y'all stay safe out there uh like always god bless i uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video look at that oh yeah look at that see nice take the other ones out just that two minutes all i read all i did on that how's my neighbor donna saying hello hello donna all right, great neighbors we have here in Texas. What do you think, guys? There we go. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. And I'll film them when I'm all done. All right, guys, I finished up. Look at that. Does that look like uh, dove meat? Or does that look like chicken nuggets? Chicken fried dove, guys. Enjoy it. I know I will. I'll post the recipe below. Like I said a few minutes ago, uh, God bless y'all out there. Stay safe and uh, stay proud to be American. You have a good day.